Welcome back. An ongoing issue could become worse in Central Texas as development drives many out of their homes. Every day, hundreds of people suffer from homelessness in Waco, and as the city continues to grow in size and ambition, there are concerns that some are going to be left behind. Matt Lively joins us in studio with more details tonight. Hey, Matt. Chris Leslie, there are around 225 homeless people living in the city of Waco as of the last homeless count in January 2021. But with COVID-19, a loss of jobs and gradual development that has taken away housing in the area, that number is on the rise and an immediate solution does not seem to be a priority. This is home under a bridge or near a train. Hundreds of your neighbors in McLennan County are living on the streets. Just a series of unfortunate events, really. Just lost my job and moved here to Texas and couldn't find a new one. John has been homeless for more than two years. Once a chef in Vegas, he has struggled to find anyone to hire him in Texas. Uh, a lot of it, once they find out you're homeless, they just don't want to give you a chance. And coming from another state, you know, different different rules. He's just one of hundreds who cannot afford housing. After the Oak Lodge Motor Inn closed in September, even more temporary residents were forced to look elsewhere. In Waco, that's hard to find. We really don't have affordable housing, have not had affordable housing in, in, in Waco uh, in some years now. Carlton Willis works at Mission Waco, an organization addressing poverty. He says many on the streets who have jobs still can't afford average rent in town. For all of the development that's going on, um, the closing down of one of the motels, it just increases the barriers, the obstacles that we have to uh, face in trying to get someone housed. Prices are only going up as more renovation takes over the downtown area as development and growth give the heart of Central Texas a facelift. Finding a place that's affordable for the people that we serve. Um, you're talking about entry level positions and work so they don't make enough to be able to afford a place to live. Willis is not the only one concerned about future development. Dusty and Lori Kirk run The Hangar, a nonprofit that feeds the homeless while giving them laundry access, showers, and resources. They understand the development is natural, but they hope the city keeps their friends in mind. I wish that in the planning, it's easy to plan for all of the big buildings and all the growth and development and like everything else not happening quick enough and we've got people that, that need help now. Six News reached out to several city employees, including Mayor Dylan Meek, to ask about potential low-income housing plans, but we did not hear back. Kirk says one option for Waco is the tiny home method that exists at Community First Village in Austin, helping to transition people out of homelessness. Ideal uh, layout of, of, a, of a community that would work well for the, for the population we serve. It's an individual house, a community kitchen, community bathrooms, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of community interaction. The village is all donation-based. Kirk says there have been rumors of that kind of development, but the rate is too slow to keep up with the demand. He just wants to make sure his friends, like John, are given a chance. They're just like me. They're just like you. They're not any different. It's hard when you're homeless. You no know, you know, address to put down. And just give us a job. Give us a chance. That's pretty much it. The old Oak Lodge Motor Inn will reportedly be fully demolished by December 2021 and will be turned into condominiums, lofts, and retail space. The city of Waco granted developers with a tax cut and a financial pledge for the project. Chris Leslie. Yeah, great story, mm -hmm. Matt. That's a story you did well, but it's being told all over the country in yeah. warmer climates, and there's just not a lot of good answers yeah. out there. Thank you so much, man.